WooCommerce Wholesale. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up wholesale pricing for WooCommerce in three simple steps. Here is an example I created of a wholesale pricing based on different order quantities. So as you can see here, we've got this discount table and this is only for our wholesale users. And it basically saying if you order 10 to 20, you'll basically get a $5 off discount per item. And again, the same here, if you order 20 to 40, you'll get $10 off per item. In the back end, you can change this to a percentage discount. So instead of it being a fixed amount, like $5 that we've got here, you could say you, you might you get a 5% off or what, whatever your discount is. And that discount will only apply if the, the amount in which the ordering fall within these ranges. And again, you can add more ranges if you want or reduce it. It's totally up to you. Again, in the back end as well, for wholesale customers, you can actually set a minimum order. So currently here, a minimum order quantity hasn't been set. So a wholesale customer is able to order one item. Later on in this video, we'll give you the option to set a minimum order quantity. Later in this video, I'll also show you how to set up wholesale pricing for various use cases, such as different pricing per wholesale account and much more. The first step in actually getting started with our WooCommerce wholesale pricing is to actually download the optimized form plugin. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in a new tab now. So you just type in optimize. All the links will be in the description below. Optimizeform.com slash YouTube. And with this special link, you'll be able to get access um, to the entire suite of plugin for an entire month for free at no extra charge to yourself. So you just click get free. It'll ask you for a few details. You go ahead and fill in those extra details and then you'll be able to download the plugin. So once you've done that, you want to head back over to your WordPress dashboard, go to plugins, add new and then upload plugin. And then you basically want to just upload the file, which you just downloaded. Click install, wait for WordPress to do its magic. Okay. It says this is failed because I've already got it installed. Okay. That's not a problem since we've already got it installed. I'm going to head over to install, but for you here, it should be new. And then you just go ahead and click install. So here it is the optimized form core plugin. I'm going to click activate. Okay. And now we've got this optimized form menu here. So once you've downloaded the plugin, you will get a license key and you will need to activate it here. As you can see, I've already added my license key. That'll be emailed to you and it will be on the download page also. So you just go ahead, enter it here and then click activate. And then you want to head over to modules. And for this example, we'll be focusing on the optimized form price and discount rules plugin. So for you, it will say install, but since I've already got it installed here, I'm just going to click on. Okay. And then we'll get a new menu here once we refresh the page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Okay. And then here you can see we've got this pricing menu here, and I'm also going to install the optimized form table plugin. And I'm also going to install the optimized form user registration plugin. You'll be seeing a glimpse of these in this, in this video, although I won't go into it in much detail. I've created a few other videos, basically explaining how to utilize the entire suite of plugin. So again, I'm going to install this one and then I'm going to go ahead and turn it on, turn this one on. Okay. Now that we've installed the optimized format price and discount rules plugin and the optimized user registration plugin, and also the product table plugin, we're going to go ahead and refresh this page and we should be able to see those new menu items here. So the second step is actually to create the different user role. So the different user account type. So again, here you go to user registration user role. And here I've already created, um, this wholesale tier one account and also this wholesale account. But in your case, if this is a fresh WooCommerce installation and you haven't used the optimized format plugin before or a similar plugin, you want to go and click add new role. And then here you want to type in the user role. So you could type in host if you want to do like a tiered wholesale system. So you want to give different discounts 
to different um to the different wholesale levels so you could have tier one a tier wholesale tier one tier two tier three and then obviously just price it accordingly so in this example since i've created a tier one account wholesale tier one account i'm going to type in wholesale so you can't input numbers within this field here and it all has to be lowercase as well it says it here for the display name you can um, add numbers and it can be uppercase as well so this is what our user will be seeing so here we'll just type in two. So this is wholesale tier two. And for where it says copy from, so this is the permission we wanna give this particular new user account that we're gonna create. So you definitely don't wanna give it administrative access because then it'll be, they'll be able to go into the back end of your WordPress setup, which we don't want. So you just click this drop down and then find customer. And this will give it the same privilege as a normal default customer. And then click add role. There we go. New role created. Excellent. So we've got wholesale tier one, tier two, and you can create as many as you like. Um, if you wanted, you could create um, a different pricing for drop shippers. If you allow drop shippers, the big box store, it's up to you. You can create various different user role here and give them a pricing discount accordingly to their user account. Okay, so that's step two done. Step one is to obviously download the optimized form plugin. Step two is to create the different user account. And then step three, this is where we're actually gonna set the individual discounts based on the pricing, quantity, and so on. And I'm gonna go through a few examples because there's there's quite a few different ways in which you can price it. So I'm gonna give you a, a few examples of the common ones. So the third step is to actually price the discount. So you can do it globally. So head over to pricing. And in here, I'm gonna click row. You can price it based on category and also based on the total amount they've got in their cart. So if the, the total amount um, payable equaled to a thousand, maybe you wanna give them a 10% discount. That's what, that's what that order total is about. And again, you can do various discounts on a global level via category. But for this example, I'm just gonna price, give different um, wholesale pricing based on a wholesale account type. So here we just click yes to enable, yes to enable. And then you've got two option here. So you can do a percentage based discount. So for example, we could say this wholesale, anyone within this wholesale account type will get 10% off all our products, unless you've specified otherwise on the product page account. So you can override this global setting on a product page level. But for now, let's just set it on a global level and see what it looks like. So we'll do a percentage based discount. And then for simplicity's sake, let's just say 20%. So click save. And then let's navigate to our front end. We probably won't see any pricing difference because currently I'm logged in as admin. I'm gonna, yep, I'm gonna click on our bulk order form just to be able to see more products um, overall, all in one place. Okay, as I mentioned, I created a few different discounts earlier, which is here, which we'll go into shortly. But as for a global um, discount in which we just created, you won't see any significant changes here because it's set to only display. Where's it gone? It's set to only display for these user account types. So I've created a different a test user, a test wholesale user. So I'm going to go ahead and log in as that user right now. So open up the site in a private window. Okay, so I'm already logged in. So I've, I've logged in as this wholesale user here. And now we should be able to see the discounts. Yep, so as you can see, everything is saying sale. And if you click on the individual product, you can see I can't remember which um, wholesale user type this is, but you can see the discount showing here. So this is a normal price that the retail users will see and our wholesale user will see this price. Okay, so let's head back to uh, admin. So that's, that's it set on a global level for the, for the different um, user roles. Now let's try it on a product level. Okay, so for example, this product here, let's click edit. And we're gonna navigate to pricing discount rules and then click add new. 
well, add pricing group. And here you can see you've got the option to set it to everyone, guests, or a specific role. In our case, we're going to set it to a specific role. And we want to create it for, say, wholesale tier one. And this is based on quantity. So this is a bulk discount. So this is encouraging our wholesalers to order in bulk. So we give them um, price breaks based on the quantity in which they're purchasing. So here we could say, um, for example, say, let's say 10 to 20. They'll get, um, let's do a price, let's, yeah, let's do a price discount. So they'll get $5 off or whatever your base currency is. If the order a minimum of 10, they'll get $5 off per product. You could set it to discount if you want, or you can set a fixed price. So if the order um, between 10 to 20, they'll get a fixed discount of $5 in our case. But again, I'm just going to set it to discount. So price per discount. And let's create a few more price breaks. So 20 to 30. Okay, let's click update and let's have a look how that looks on the front end. So as you can see, we've set this discount to only apply to our wholesale accounts in wholesale tier one. Let's have a look at the front end and see how it looks. Okay, excellent. So here you can see we've got this nice pricing table, which clearly shows the various price breaks. So for example, if we were to add it won't work um, for my account because currently I'm logged in as admin. So let's actually change it um, to everyone just to illustrate the discount being applied. So here I'm going to set it, set this um, discount rule for everyone. And let's update it and then let's view it on the front end. So as you can see, it's saying $12 per product. If we add a quantity of 10, and add it to cart. Let's view cart. Okay, excellent. Uh, let's remove this one. So as you can see, the discounts being applied here. So instead of $12 per product, we're actually getting it for five because currently our total set to 22, which brings us into the higher um, price break. Yep. So we're actually getting it for well, we're getting seven dollars off. So seven minus twelve is five. So we end up paying five dollars per product. And again, you can set this to a percentage percentage basis, or a fix um, a fixed amount off, or a fixed price. And that's the example. But currently, this is set to everyone, which you wouldn't want. You'd want to leave it to a specific um, a specific user role. For example, maybe you want to give tier one and tier two both these discounts, or maybe you want to um, you want to add a different pricing group for say tier two, wholesale tier two. So let's go over, let's find wholesale tier two, and then here again we can do the quantity breaks, twenty, and remove this one. On the front end to your retail customer, they won't see this um, pricing table and they won't be able to get access to this discount as well. This is only for users that fall within this particular user role account and you can create as many discount rules as you want. I'm going to go ahead and delete this one. If you want, say for example, if you've got um, a few dead stock or last season stock which isn't moving you might want to create instead of a bulk pricing model you might want to create a special offer so say for example if you've got a few unpopular sizes as well you might say if you say if you purchase um, uh, say 10 just for example sake you can receive an extra two at a hundred percent discount okay let's save this and see how it looks on the front end okay um so here it says buy 10 and get two discounted 
at a hundred dollar discount as I meant a hundred percent so let me go ahead and change this and let's change that to percentage so they're basically getting it for free so they buy 10 and get two for free yep there you go so they buy 10 and they get two um two of these items for free and you can go ahead and play with the settings there's various settings in which you can um, adjust and mix and match another another question i get asked as well is how do you set up um, a minimum a minimum quantity order and here you can simply just set, set this so if we go um let's say five so if you remember we're able to purchase one if we set if we set this minimum quantity to five or we can set maximum as well so they're only allowed to order so many but for now we'll just do minimum five and click update let's view the product again okay there we go so as you can see the minimum set to five and yet can't actually reduce it so that's how you set that up in a few simple clicks well, let's head over to our bulk order form to see how these discounts actually play out on our order form so for example if your wholesale customer won't be viewing um, the products the products pages individually and instead they'll be using your bulk order form which is included with the optimized form or core plugin pack let's head over to bulk order form and see how that looks okay so as you can see you can see the discounts here so this is a product which we set the minimum quantity to five. It's showing here. You're not able to reduce it to less than five. And here as well, you can see the discount. So you can go ahead, order it, add to cart, or bulk add it to cart, scroll through. Again, here it's telling you if you order more than 10, you'll get um, $5 off per product. Again, you can change that to a discount off or a fixed percentage. Sorry, you can change it to a percentage discount or a fixed amount off. So here you can go ahead and just click add to cart um, and then scroll through. But it's conveniently dis displaying um, the various pr price breaks on the order form. And this is way more convenient for your wholesale customers. And once, once they're ready and everything's added to cart, it can just simply click the checkout button you have the ability to add a checkout widget here which I haven't enabled on this example that's our three-step process to setting up wholesale pricing within WooCommerce this is just one of our many series on wholesale and wholesale for WooCommerce we've got videos on how to set up a wholesale application order form pricing which we've just covered and so much more if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'd highly recommend you download our wholesale pricing calculator, which will help you set the appropriate wholesale pricing at each level. The link is in the description below, or you can visit optimizeform.com slash wholesale PC. Let me know in the comments below how you set your pricing for your wholesale customers.